guys, today I'm going to show you how to clear a check engine light and get your car ready to pass emissions inspection. Right here I have the ELM327 interface, which is an OBD reader, uh, Bluetooth. And I have the OBD Torque app right here. I paid 10 bucks for this and 10 bucks for this app over here. thing you want to do is take your OBD reader and plug it into your OBD socket right here like this. Next, take your key, put the car to the on position, and your car should turn on. And OBD should start blinking with all of its lights. The Torque app should show connected. Next, I'm going to start the engine of my vehicle. And notice the check engine light is right here. Right now, I'm going to read out the OBD codes for you guys. We're going to go to the fault codes area of the Torque app and then request all the fault codes from the car. So here it's showing the P0430 catalytic converter issue right here. Once scanning completes, go to this here, put clear faults on ECU, and then hit OK. Right, and then if I look up now, the check engine light is gone. Back on the Torque app, let's go to the real-time information and then look at the emissions readiness. The completes are going to be gone because now the computer ECU has reset itself. So you'll see like these top three are going to be available, but the rest are not going to be. So this is the part where we put our phone to the side like this. And we have to drive the car for about 30 minutes on the highway. So you want to get some uh, city driving, some stops, some goes, and then some steady like 50 miles an hour runs. Buckle up, put your car into drive, and let's go. All right, driving your vehicle around, make sure you go slow like in the city. Make sure you do some full stops. make sure you hold constant speeds of like 30 miles an hour and 50 miles an hour. Here's 30 miles an hour. I'm gonna keep my engine running like this for about 30 seconds to a minute or so. Okay, so right now I'm doing about 50 miles an hour and I'm gonna hold it here. And now we're back to some 30 mile an hour runs. What we're showing now. So we're showing all complete except for two. Once again, keep it steady on the freeway here, 55 miles an hour. All right, now we're up to 187,245. The last ones really to go are those little catalyst and O2 sensor. It's really hard to satisfy those. Those, you have to keep driving until those turn into complete. So we'll keep driving. I drove the car many more miles as you can see here. Check engine light is still gone. This is what the OBD reader is saying. So everything's showing complete except for O2 sensor. So for some vehicles, that's okay. Um, depending on how old your vehicle is, you could have one or two sensors incomplete and still pass the test. But given that this car is newer than a 2000, all of these have to show complete for it to successfully pass the emissions. All right, so just one more sensor to go. Hey guys, it's nighttime but I just wanted to give a final update. OBD readers plugged in. You can see here my statuses have finally switched all to green. Just give it a second here. It's gonna show. There you go. Notice there's no check engine lights. 187,300 miles. Had to drive quite a lot and just keep monitoring it until it's completed. But there you go, guys. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Bye.